it's almost time for the Mountain West Conference and the coveted chance to represent the Mountain West in the Mountain in the NCAA tournament. No team's ever done the play-in game and won the Mountain West Conference tournament, so it behooves people to try to not be in the play-in game. And so there, right now, there's five teams in a log jam for three spots. It's going to be a sprint to the finish. Um, Fresno State, UNLV, or and Wyoming are tied for third place at seven and five and a half game backs New Mexico and Utah State. So looking at the remaining schedule for the five teams, I think Fresno State has the most favorable position to be in because they play San Jose State at home, at Colorado State, at UNLV, at Air Force, and New Mexico at home. I think they have a legitimate sh shot of winning four out of those last six games. They should get a spot. Wyoming's last six games are at San Diego State. They get San Jose State at home, New Mexico at home, then they go to Fresno, then they have Air Force at home, and then they have to go to Boise State. Realistically, I think Wyoming's looking at three and three in their last six games. UNLV looks to have the toughest schedule of the teams tied for third place right now. They have a game with Air Force at home, at San Diego State, Fresno at home, at New Mexico, Nevada at home, and at Utah State. UNLV hasn't been blown out all year, but on the other hand, they haven't blown any quality teams out either. They were, they had Wyoming down by 21 in the first half today, then let Wyoming come back because they had a bunch of turnovers. Javon Mooring is a, a kid who uh, can really heat up one game, but then on, like he had 31 points in Reno, but then he had 10 points tonight in Las Vegas. UNLV's a hard team to figure out on this one. Um, they could go four and two, or they could go three and three. Uh, they could go five and one because they're a very talented team. Utah State has three out of their last five games on the road at New Mexico, Air Force, and San Jose State. Their final two home games are against Nevada and UNLV. It's pretty easy to see USU finishing out three and two with two road wins and one home win, but possibly two home wins. New Mexico has three home games at the pit against USU, UNLV, and Fresno State. Their two road games are at Colorado State and Wyoming. It's easy to see the Lobos finishing with four wins out of their last five games. They've already beat UNLV in Las Vegas and Utah State in Logan, and they have one of the best home court advantages in the league. So, since I'm getting a guess here, my best guess for the last three spots are Fresno State, New Mexico and UNLV in that order. I struggled with picking UNLV over Utah State and Wyoming, but I just think the Rebels have a lot of talent. Looks like they're getting things put together and they play really good on the road. But Wyoming's a good team too and so is Utah State, so it's uh it wouldn't surprise me to see either of those teams in the last you know get one of those coveted uh three spots you know we know pretty much that Boise State and Nevada are going to be in there so it should be really fun to watch the last three weeks of the season unless you're a coach this is Magpie Waters and the, those are my thoughts on the Mountain West Conference coming up for the next three weeks